Okay, so let's look at an example um, of doing the DLT algorithm. So this is a MATLAB program that creates some uh, synthetic data. So here we're uh, making up a uh, intrinsic parameter matrix uh, with focal length and center. Um, and here we're creating some 3D points. And these are actually the elements or the vertices of a cube of um, length 2. Uh, you know, so the top three rows are x, y, z, and the fourth row is uh, is a constant ones for the homogeneous coordinates. Um, this I thought is helpful if you use random numbers, which we will. If you want to uh, use the same random sequence every time you run the program, you need to reset the random number generator, and this is uh, one way to do that. Okay, so that creates uh, some 3D points and a camera. Um, here we're going to define our um, model to camera transform. So we're creating a rotation matrix and a uh, translation here. So here's our extrinsic parameter matrix. Um, we're going to display that, apply that to our model points, um, normalize those image points then as, after we project them, and then display them um, onto an image of size 512 by 512. Okay, so let me go ahead and run that um, in MATLAB. So I'm going to open a window. Uh, let's see here. And let me just grab this code. And I'll save that and run it. Okay, so here um, it's created a cube and projected it onto the image, and the green points are, are the eight points that I projected. All right, so then just to um, be more realistic, we'll add some noise to the image points. Um, so the randn function uh, adds normal random numbers, namely Gaussian. Uh, distributed random numbers um, of unit variance, and so we're going to multiply that by 2. That's going to be our, our sigma of the Gaussian. And, um, and then the perturbed points will display in white. Um, then we're going to plot those, but we're also going to go ahead and uh, normalize those uh, by multiplying by the inverse of the K matrix, the parameter matrix. So this effectively gives us image points as if we had focal length equal to 1 and the camera center was in the center of the image. So let me go ahead and add this code. Okay, so this here you see that uh, there is some error between the the ground truth, the true points that are green, and the noisy image points that are white. And also, um, <clears throat> here's our measured image points. The normalized image points are shown here. As you can see, they're much smaller, essentially because the focal length is effectively 1. And you can see there are also uh, positives and negatives there. Okay, so now we have to solve for the pose, and as I mentioned before, we create the system of linear equations. We put that into an A matrix, um, exactly as we've, as we've shown here. So let's go ahead and create that. And run that. Okay, so here my A matrix then is a um, 
uh, what, 12 by 12 by 12, let's see here. It is a 16 by 12 uh, matrix because I have eight points. Each point contributes two unknowns and there's uh, 12 unknowns here. Okay, so then um, we need to solve this system of equations in the form um, ax equals zero. And as we saw before, the solution is the non-zero, is, is the eigenvector corresponding to the only non-zero value of A transpose A. And I went through this in the discussion of SVD, um, why that is true. So I won't repeat that proof here. Okay, so we can use SVD to find this solution. We <clears throat> take the SVD of matrix A to produce uh, matrices U, D, and V. Um, and um, as, as we said, X is the solution, is the eigenvector corresponding to the only non-zero eigenvalue of A transpose A. That is the, um, the rightmost column of V. All right, so to do that in MATLAB, um, here's where we take the SVD of A to produce those matrices. Here's where we pull out the rightmost column of V, put that into X. And here's where we take those 12 elements of X and put that in, back into a 3 by 4 matrix. We'll call that M. So the, this 3 by 3 matrix is the rotation portion of the matrix. That's the rotation matrix. And this um, vector here is our translation vector. OK, so let's just take a look at M. Here is M that we solve for. Here is X and here is the recovered rotation and translation. Okay, so <clears throat> this um, is not, we're not done here. Um, we have to scale the solution. Okay, so remember that X is only known up to a scale factor since any multiplication of X still satisfies this constraint. But fortunately, we know that X is actually a rotation matrix. What is a valid rotation matrix? Well, it has a determinant equal to plus 1. Uh, plus 1 indicates a right-handed coordinate system. Negative 1 would be a left-handed coordinate system. So we check the determinant. And if it's negative, we, we change the sign of every element of A to make sure it's a right-handed system. We also know that its singular values are all equal to 1, and we enforce this by taking the SVD of R and recreating it using the correct singular values.